When I first got into the visual novel genre, there was something that struck me as odd about it. The lack of mobility. I know I prefer to read when I'm around or about, so I thought, what are some ways that we can consume visual novels on the go in a more natural way? How can we read it in a similar fashion to actual books? I've been spending some time trying to figure this out, and here are my results. Welcome to my guide to visual novels on the go. You may be asking yourself, why should I care about playing visual novels on the go? It's nothing special, right? Even if you're content with the way you consume visual novels, I think you should at least consider trying out a tablet because it's a very nice experience. When you think about it, visual novels are a lot like books, being very text heavy and all, but we consume it like a video game, which causes some ergonomic issues that can get on your nerves and hinder your experience. I am under the firm belief that the best way to get around this is playing visual novels on tablets, which is really the best of both worlds, with the flexibility of video games and the ergonomics of books culminating into an amazing experience. Being able to carry the device that can play a visual novel and bring it wherever you want comfortably is an almost liberating freedom, and the reading experience is just a lot more comfortable. It's like reading a book on an ebook reader, touching the screen to go to the next line or page or whatever. Tablets are great for reading and media consumption in general, and that trait passes along to visual novels as well. How do you get visual novels on tablets? Well, it really depends on the tablet you use and the methods you use, but for most people with tablets, it's kind of a pain. Those with Windows tablets should have no issues, as you can get the visual novel in the same way you would a laptop or desktop and everything should work fine. But those with an Android or iOS tablet will have to jump through some hoops to get most visual novels working. And if you have a Windows RT tablet, <laughs> stop lying to me, no one has a Windows RT tablet. The biggest issue for Android and iOS users is that visual novels are programmed like games and are made in a way that isn't very easy to port. Almost all visual novels are made for Windows and aren't getting ported, so a large number of them just aren't available on iOS or Android in the way you'd want to get them. There are two main methods I have for visual novels on Android and iOS, and those are streaming and applications. I'm sure most of you who have a tablet also have a PC, so one of the most convenient methods is streaming your laptop or desktop in a way that you can use it on a tablet. And the most popular method to do this is Splashtop, which works on both iOS and Android. It's a streaming app that will send you a remote connection through the internet to your tablet, thus giving you compatibility with almost every visual novel out there. The results are pretty good, and a lot better than what one would expect. Good image quality, all the fancy effects from the full version, and very little lag. There are some cons to it though. Because you're streaming from your PC, you're limited to your wireless network, and if you wanted to stream with a different network, you'd have to find a different method or pay a monthly fee. I personally haven't tried it out, but it has been mentioned that Chrome Remote Desktop is a good way to go about this, and you don't have to pay a fee for that one, so that's a good option to take too if you want to stream your PC to your tablet. There's also the fact that because it's streaming from your PC, it's reliant on how good your internet is. And as those in the Andy Tay chat room can tell you, it meant at times for me it was a wag filled mess, but usually it wasn't too bad. If you're interested in learning more about Splashtop to stream visual novels, check out Fuo Novel's guide with Splashtop. If you want to play visual novels on your Android or iOS tablet when you don't have an internet access, you'll have to rely on the applications that run on the device. That being said, there aren't a lot of them that do run on it, but there are a few, and there are some tools that you can use to get them working, so here are my recommendations. For those with iOS devices, the wall garden of Apple really has you screwed over here, as you're pretty much limited to the visual novels that are on the App Store, and there really aren't a lot there. A few I'd like to mention personally is 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors, also known as my favorite visual novel slash game, Ghost Trick, and Banshee's Last Cry. But there are a bit more out there. Actually, there's quite a bit more out there. So in the description below, I have provided some links and information if you are interested in playing visual novels on your iOS device. I'm sorry I really can't do much else. I don't have an iOS device, so I don't really know everything about it. And this is really the best I can do to my capabilities. Once again, really sorry.
As for Android, however, because of its open nature, it's pretty flexible at what you want it to do. And it's also surprisingly well documented. So I'm just going to go briefly over this because there is a very well done guide on Fool Novel about this that is in the description below that you should check out if you're interested. Other than the very sparse pickings from the Play Store, which is even worse than iOS in that aspect, your primary way to get visual novels on Android will probably be the VNDS interpreter. VNDS is a converter that can convert PC visual novels into forms that other platforms can play, this one specifically Android, and VNDS Interpreter reads those converted files in a way that you can play on your Android device. VNDS has a lot of the popular visual novels like Fate Stay Night, Tsukihime, Seiya no Uta, Konad, etc. So it's a pretty decent way to get into these games. That being said, VNDS does have some cons. You aren't getting the full experience because the conversion just takes the images, music, and text, but it weaves out everything else like the animations, and it portrays it in a way that can influence your experience for the worse. Also, some people find the act of converting it or finding the conversions to be a con as it can get quite annoying, but that's a pretty minor issue, and they go over that in the guide by Fuel Novel. Also, you can run most of the games that are based off of the Ren P and Enscriptor engines, which gets a bunch of other games like Katawa Shoujo, but it misses a lot of visual novels that I personally love, like Karno Shoujo or Move of Alternative, which are only on PC if you want English. Also, I'm just going to plug here that handheld systems like the Vita and 3DS have a surprisingly decent selection of English visual novels as well, like Hotel Dusk, Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward, and Danganronpa, so you shouldn't overlook them as platforms for visual novels on the go, as they really aren't half bad, but they do fall into the same issue as other platforms, which is that a large majority of English visual novels are PC only, and they really don't have much on the other platforms. After trying all those options, I essentially gave up and just got Windows Tablet, and really it's been a blast since. Windows Tablets for everything else is a pretty mixed bag, but for playing visual novels, you really can't find anything better. Everything I've said that was a pro applies here, but almost none of the cons applies. And the only major con I can think of is that it may be out of some people's price range. But they aren't even expensive at all. Even the cheapest one is like 60 bucks, and it will provide a very good experience for visual novels. Being able to play any visual novel on the go without any issues is really nice, and tapping the screen to progress feels just so much more natural. You can play it pretty much anywhere, and I have been doing pretty much that. Like, I've been playing visual novels while I wait for the bus on my daily commute. It makes visual novels just that much more accessible, and I've been able to get through a lot more of them because of it. Also, one last tip. You may run into issues where the touch targets are hard to hit because the game was designed for mouse and keyboard, but this is easily fixed with a third-party solution that's free, which turns your screen into a touchpad called Touch Mouse Pointer. And once I got that, the experience was pretty much smooth sailing from there. In conclusion, I think that Windows tablets really are the best way to get into visual novels, and if you are interested in visual novels, you should pick one up. That being said, even if you don't have the money to pick one up, if you have any of the stuff available, you should really give some of these methods a shot. This has been Rockman Dash Reviews, signing out.